Matthew 13, verse 31. The parable of the mustard seed. Another parable Jesus put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is the least of all the seeds, but when it is grown it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and nest in its branches. Verse 33, the parable of the leaven. Another parable Jesus spoke to them. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal until it was all leavened. Verse 34, prophecy and the parables. All these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables, and without a parable he did not speak to them, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things kept secret from the foundation of the world. Verse 36, the parable of the tares explained. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came to Jesus, saying, Explain to us the parable of the tares of the field. He answered and said to them, He who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. Field is the world, the good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil, the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and those who pr practice lawlessness will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear.